Victoria Cummings has been a timber season ticket holder for 11 years. That's one of the biggest games of the year is our rivalry with the Sounders. But instead of being here at Providence Park to watch the big game Sunday, she stayed home. It's painful, but I feel that this is a stand I have to take. A stand against the latest COVID protocols at the stadium. People over five have to wear face coverings in all areas other than their seats. That the seating is arranged so that you're shoulder to shoulder with another person. Cummings feels uneasy about that with the Delta variant swiftly spreading in Oregon. We yell, we scream, we chant, we sing. We're very vocal when we're there. So there's a lot of particles flying around in the air and some of them are going to be filled with that variant. Instead of selling her ticket, she left her seat empty as a statement. On social media, several others echoed the same concerns, some calling for the venue to require proof of vaccination. It would be nice to show proof of vaccination, but if everyone wore a mask, that would be a simple answer to helping stop the spread. But not everyone is concerned about safety protocols. Thousands lined up at Providence Park Sunday to watch the Portland Timbers take on the Seattle Sounders. I think it's fine. It's not a problem. Uh, not as much since we're outside, but I think if everyone's taking the right measures, we should be fine. Tom came to the game, but agrees more needs to be done. It was cool when masks were the thing to do, but now it's vaccinations. We'll keep our mask on the entire time. We're lucky we have a high seat way up in the back. There's nobody behind us, and so we're in a good, pretty good shape. Cummings will keep taking a stand by not stepping foot in Providence Park until masks are required at all times. It seems to me with the rapid increase in cases that we're seeing every day in the hospital that it's time for us to be responsible as citizens and adults to start wearing our masks again to take care of one another. Christelle Kumwe, KGW News.